AI is being introduced and weaved into all sorts of aspects of our lives with the goal of making our lives better and safer. The key question, is it good and practical enough for us to embrace it? Well, today we're taking a look at the Robofinity Inside Drive. Simply put, a thermal imaging camera that mounts on your car in minutes and has AI-powered obstacle detection, adding an extra layer of security to your drive. Hey, it's Low for Low Nose back at you with another tech take, and this is a place where I come across cool tech so you can make the choice if it's for you or not. Guys, at the very least, I want you to be aware of the cool tech that is out there and on the horizon. So, the Robofinity Inside Drive. Well, I've been testing this bad boy for about three weeks, and I really want to get an everyday feel while using this so I can share my real insight on this tech and not just, not just give you some kind of superficial glance over. So, what does it offer that other devices like a dash cam are not offering? Well, once you have it set up, clear visibility in total darkness. Because of its thermal imaging camera, not only can it pick up moving vehicles clearly, but most importantly to me, it picks up pedestrians walking on the side of the road and <laughs> believe it or not, also sitting on the bus stop as well. Seriously, until I started using this, I didn't realize how many pedestrians were just walking and just standing all around me as I was driving, especially when you're driving down roads or neighborhoods that are not well lit. I would see a little person blip on the screen and I would be like, wait a second, there was a person there? True story. For me, this is very helpful because while I can't control what's coming in my path, this does help me see it earlier than I would have. So number one, I'm now aware. And number two, I can react sooner to it. With that being said, this is ideal for extreme weather conditions. When weather makes visibility tough, like rain, fog, dust, whether it's in the day or the night, the Robofinity thermal imaging camera and AI-powered sensors still make sense of what's ahead. Now, I didn't experience any extreme weather, but in normal rain, it worked just fine. It did its job. All right, let's talk about street driving because that's what I was using this for 80% of the time. You might think since this is part thermal camera, street lights, rear lights, or on cam high beams might make an issue or mess of the reliability of the Robofinity. Well, I was happy to see that it was not. In fact, it wasn't even something I had to think about. It took all the complex variables in front of me and gave me an easy, simple, and valuable information that I could use while I was driving. All right, let's get deeper into the Robofinity inside drive. When driving, you'll notice on screen how you have distinct colors for objects, such as people and environment. You have black and gray that represent spaces and objects. Usually black means an open space like the sky and gray, of course, objects like buildings and trees and things like that. When it detects a vehicle like a car, truck or motorcycle, it's covered with a green box, also showing the distance of it from you. This is great, again, for giving you additional information while you're driving or just parked. You never know, sometimes you just might need that information. Is that coming to me or away from me? Ah. If an object is close or considered to be too close, it will be highlighted in a red box. Now, if it's too close, not only is it in a red box, but you also get a around the screen pulse as well, warning you of the proximity of the object. You also get an audible alarm that helps you anticipate things as well, but you do have the option to turn that off, keep it low or leave it loud by default. Now. People, as you already know, have their own color schemes. So you have a clear distinction between what is an object, like a car, what is a person or an animal, and what is a building or a stop sign. And as a bonus, it is always recording footage with the included micro SD card. So you can review that footage on your Robofinity or on your computer and put it in videos like this, if you want. Now as a double bonus, the Robofinity does feature app support. Thing is, right now it's just available for Android, so I wasn't able to test it because I have an iPhone, but it'll give you all the functionality on the touchscreen directly on your phone. Now, as simple as it is to use the Robofinity, it's a quick five minute install in your car. Inside the box, you'll have everything you need to get started, including tools, the Robofinity, and of course, some double-sided tape to help you hide wires and secure the mounting box. All right, here we go. Pay attention to the mounting process. Mount it on your hood. Guide the wires to your cabin. Connect it to the power hub. Connect the screen and power to the power hub. Set your display on the dash wherever you like, and then connect your power. Really, it was that simple. 
You may want to play with the different ways on how to hide the wires and hide the control box, but again, you're supplied with everything to help you with that. All right, my final thoughts. I think the Robofinity does offer something unique that is missing from the market and probably even our own awareness. My kids kept on thinking I had the iPhone on the dash, so it didn't seem like it was out of the place or just some kind of extra clunky mechanical thing in my car, which is a good thing. But as far as the camera on the outside, well, it could be an eyesore for some. I thought it, I thought it made my van look pretty cool. The touchscreen of the Robofinity is easy to you, and like I've been saying before, the additional information really helps me when I'm driving. But if I had to offer one critique of the Robofinity, and I feel like I have a responsibility to really uh, mention this because this is something that uh, uh, that I had to deal with. My car it has, of course, like the built-in screen, and of course, when I go into reverse, it, it, it displays the backup camera. Well, at times, for some reason, since I had the Robofinity on the dash and the, I'm here blocking the screen. I had the Robofinity on the dash and I had the, and of course the building screen is right below that. Whenever I would use a backup cam, I would have two cameras on at the same time. And every now and then my mind would just kind of glitch out and I would think the Robo Infinity was the backup cam and vice versa. And I was like, well, no, 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 that's not it. So I just wanted to make sure. Placement is going to be key when you're using that, but I, I really felt like I, I had to mention that. So you're aware of that. Outside of that, again, the Robofinity only adds to a safe driving experience when on the road. All right, really hope this video helped you out. Enjoy. As always, I'll leave links in the description down below so you can, so you can pick up your own Robofinity. Hey guys, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Hit that like button if you like what's going on here and also ding that notification so you can be notified for future videos as well. All right, I'll see you next one. Take care, bye.